and orbit keeping vision divide external carotids branches eight in total let's name them all superior thyroid lingual facial they're having a ball sipinal and posterior auricular to the back they go maxillary and superficial temporal face and scalp they know now let's go down to the veins so blue internal jugulars the brain's main avenue from seaweed sinus to jugular for a minute descends joining soft clevian vein where its journey ends External jugular formed by retromandibular and posterior auricular drain scalp and facing that particular anterior jugulars in the investing fascia front and center connects left and right with jugular venous arch. What a mentor! Facial vein joins the internal jugular. That's a fact. Superficial, temporal, and maxillary form retromandibular. That's exact. Vertebral venous plexus, a groovy internal and external set connects to occipital and cervical veins. Don't you fret? Don't you fret, allow venous sinuses, they're blowing our minds Superior sagittal straight and transverse different kinds Cavernous sinus where abducens and oculum motor chill With droglet or geminal and internal carotid, what a thrill Emissary veins connect extracranial to intracranial space Bridging veins from cerebral cortex to dural sinuses Race ophthalmic veins, superior and inferior drain The orbit to cavernous sinus, they flow in a cosmic orbit from your dome to your neck, this network is so vast of keeping your consciousness flowing unsurpassed. So next time you're feeling the vibes in your head, remember these vessels, both blue and red. They're keeping you grooving every day and night. Circulating life force, keeping your mind bright. Peace, love, and an anatomical liberation. That's the power of cerebral circulation. 